All right, guys. We're going to do a quick rundown of three different bags we have. Um, these are actually used a lot. Um, they all have been emptied out just to make easier for this video of just showing each bag. This one right here is used as my good bag, better yet known as the get out of Dodge. This one right here is my Bob, other people know, bug out bag. This one down here is my Havoc bag. We will start with the good bag. Uh, bear with me, like I said, I'm doing this by myself with one hand, so it might be a little bit shaky. But um, here it is. Um, I love this bag right here. This is an awesome good bag. Uh, basically, this is what I used store this up put this inside my vehicle um, it does have lots of lots of storage compartments we'll start with the outside um, over here does have a nice big side compartment it actually goes down in there pretty deep it's uh, all zippered heavy duty zippers too same thing on the other side but the one on the other side has an actual retention strap to it so you can fill that up pull the strap real tight nice and good um, <clears throat> over here on the front this is actually more retention straps this right here opens up this opens into a whole compartment as you can see it goes all the way up in there all the way down side to side it is the whole width of this right here real nice heavy duty straps and zippers I mean with the waterproof when the zipper closes goes in there don't get water inside there and I have had these in the rain and my equipment is dry see it slides up in there real good and real nice um, these go back on there and once you fill that up we can go ahead and pull these straps down sorry about that guys pull these straps down and tighten everything up real nice on the back side has a whole bunch of extra little webbings hang all types of little utensils it does have a chest strap chest strap is got velcro on it and a retention strap keep it tight real nice padded then on the back side right here it does have the strap the back strap bars inside there with a thick cushion real thick cushion in there these right here great fully adjustable they strap around your waist Another uh, sorry, retentions. This right here, man, makes it real nice to carry. Real nice to carry. Uh, we'll go ahead up here on the back side. Whenever, whenever I do a bag, I make sure that it has one of these right here. What that is, is when you're wearing this, you can reach right behind your head and get into this compartment right here. Uh, on my good bag, I like to keep, you know, wallet, money, you know, little extra kind of things that I don't have to take my whole bag off just to get to. Maybe a compass, you know, just small things like that. And this one does, it's already set up for, as you can see it right there. You can hook up the bladder bag inside of it. In the back here, I'll show you the compartment here in a second. Stick the hose up right here, come straight down, strap it through this thing, and bam. Bro, oh, sorry about that. Put the holes right through here you're good to go you know it'll make it easy like i said again guys man i'm sorry i'm trying to do this video here by myself and uh got the kids running around too um <clears throat> this awesome right here fill your bag up all you guys know wet dry bags fold that up you know and then come strap these back together right there and right there and it is waterproof water can't get inside of it now you can't take this thing and soak it in the water you know drop it in your creek and leave it there and it'd be good but it does do right there's those back straps I was telling you about we'll try and get a better picture of the inside of this one. lots of room down in there now this is just accessible you know this is just a lot of room for storage stuff that's why this is my good bag now if you've seen inside there I'll show you something see this 
that actually goes to the whole inside of it. So if you know and you set your thing up right, this strap right here, the zipper right here, makes for things real easy, real easy. Um, like I said, these are good bags. Then this right here pulls out down here. Your gun slides in. This is your back strapping. It pulls tight also. My Ruger 1022 or my walking stick will fit inside that. Come all the way out, butt stock, right inside of here. Straps this up tight, pulls it in there, and it'll hold it. Walking stick. It's not made for the Ruger or another gun, but that works perfectly fine for that. Underneath, like I was saying, here are straps. Uh, on this bag, I do not use a sleeping bag or a tent. Uh, this bag has a tarp in it and some thermal blankets. But the big tarp goes down onto here and even a ground blanket which actually subs as my shooting mat it's a shooting mat but I strap it onto here and it suck it on there real good down there it doesn't hit on you it doesn't bang you in your butt and all of that crazy stuff when you're walking real good alright um any questions on this man feel free to ask man I I make a better video or you know answer any questions um we'll go ahead move on to the bob which is also known as the bug out bag um, again, this was the, uh, this is the, uh, the Pro Series. Um, this was the, um, good bag. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and move on to the Bob now. Okay. This right here is the field line. This is the tactical edition. Uh, this thing, it's, as you can see, it's got molly straps everywhere. Velcro for your patches here. Velcro for your patches there. Um, beautiful beautiful bag we'll start with the outside as well for this one and then go on to the inside um, like I said again guys bear with me man I'm trying to do this by myself this bag right here has the same straps on the bottom all four of them with breathers these are breathers for the bottom pouch um, like I said this one does get the sleeping bag and I don't have a full tent I won't use a full tent. It actually weighs too much weight. So I take my tarp and my sleeping bag or sleeping mat actually. It is a zero below zero. And it straps to these right here. Pulls real tight. And it's it's awesome. <coughs> again, like, um, it does <clears throat> hold real tight against this right here. Now this is kind of cool about this. I'm a huge fan of this bag. Huge fan of this bag. Um, basically... If you look over here, you can see this comes apart. I'll show you here now. Like I said again, sorry man, I got one hand trying to do this whole thing and this ain't the easiest to do. Okay, take out the other side. If you've seen that picture that I posted, this is that bag of that picture that I posted. Um, inside of here, hey, look at that. Those are always good to have. Um, inside of here, this actually folds all the way out. And that is a big, huge storage compartment inside of here for stuff to get easy access to it. Now, your main front bag right here, this is actually one piece but it's connected there's a webbing right there and like I said it's a lot of storage in there man that's just in between that's not even a pocket this opens up <clears throat> numerous numerous pockets you got little extra pocket here with your zip little zipper more pockets right here for paperwork all easy access type stuff whole bunch of little pockets in there your pens if you can see pens right down there over here you got a big pocket um, I actually have my little GPS right in there more pockets you put your pens and pads uh, paperwork maps you know this right here I like to use for this whole front area is basically used for quick easy medical supplies and maps and you know kind of terrain type deals um, up here there's more stuff right here just you know basic little throw something in there type deal this is an awesome pouch because this one goes all the way down the whole way all the way to the bottom of this pouch and then this one right here it's just the netting so it breathes right there 
real cool right there on the outside has a big big pocket on both sides a uh, little pocket in there here little pocket down in there and this is a big old pocket it goes from the bottom almost to the top and it does have all blockings to the zippers heavy duty zippers to them little straps and a plastic piece they're nice also molly webbing down the whole side whole side hook it up to it beautiful little piece same thing on the other side big old thing now when I wrap one of these up best thing you put a set of water shoes man water shoes is a must to have put one in here and then like I said same thing on this one same thing here <coughs> sorry about that guys molly straps whole way down right there um, then like I said front strap here just for little stuff you know um, whatever basically you need just a lot of pockets on this one a lot of pockets on this deal right here we go to the back side of it has the same heavy-duty padded real padded I'm talking about this thing is nice and durable light and then all this pad makes a good straps here same format as the good bag then it also has the chest strap right there with the little velcro on there make it comfortability waistbands right here beautiful thing another breather point that way it helps wet your back then on top of it this one does have the uh, you can put the bladder bag inside of here I'll try to get to that real quick that whole thing opens up and that's a whole you can fit you can fit one of those two gallon I'm sorry the one gallon bladder bags right inside of here and it goes from up there all the way to down here right above there and then there's vent things so that water actually stays cool in the shade and it lets it breathe and kind of cools you off a little bit and um, like I said you can put other stuff in there lots of other stuff lots and lots of other stuff it does have the little hole right there as you can see it comes out up until here this is hard hold on and there comes your hose for your bladder bag one on each side actually for lefties and righties that's the good thing about this and like I said mandatory you definitely want something that has one of these pockets sorry guys one of these pockets right here that way you can reach over your head right over your head reach inside there grab whatever little stuff you got um, like I said before money uh, you know just uh something simple and easy money packs a compass uh, you can even throw a couple little bars or, or some food munchies in there something like that so you don't have to take the bag off just in order to get to it you know so it does work out really nice man it actually works out real nice let's go to the inside hold on Here we go on the inside of this man lots more storage all mesh right here this is mesh right here and then this is a big big bag i like to keep you know main medicals right here main medicals right here this is a big thing big old pack keeps everything dry clear out of the way and easy accessible another deal right here so you can put your clothes best bet you know your clothes is definitely important you want to change your clothes but you want to keep it in about this area right here that way it's to the back it's out of the way and it can be compressed down you know until you need it then you can always open your bag up get to it to change your clothes another big old mesh compartment right here <clears throat> and this thing actually stays very deep this is a very deep look it's bigger than my hand it bigger than my hand is standing up you know on both sides so it is actually a deep bag um, there's that little pouch I was telling you about then you also you got this little thing it's just hang stuff on there right there the velcro is actually really <clears throat> there you go it's actually a lot more stronger than it seems to be and then you got your hand right there uh, you can use that to hang or when you strap that in there pulls down tight hold your bladder bag into place real nice little piece right here this right here I'll tell you I found very handy very handy especially when you're doing long trips uh, that comes down to it, like I said, you know, this thing has lots of molly webbing, lots of webbing on this all over the place. And I'm a big fan of this Velcro right there. Uh, this will have a real nice American flag with the 3%er on it right there. 
definitely getting one right here and then I'm gonna have my name put across the side of that one right there actually the company name not my name but a uh, real heavy-duty handle right here I'm talking about you guys can see how thick that thing is right there that thing is thick real thick solid and it actually straps all the way down to the pieces now this whole bag including front pockets side pockets everything this bag has lots of retention straps that actually takes this bag from you know real thick down and compresses everything inside of it um, be careful how you load this up because you want to make sure what you put in areas are not going to get completely squashed down but this is that bag I had on the hike right here and I love it it had not failed me it was so comfortable 65 pounds you hardly knew it was there all right um any questions on this this is the bob um if you have any questions at all just let me know i'll go through that over there we're going to go ahead and jump over to the havoc bag okay this is the havoc bag right here this thing it's got a lot of little pockets inside of it um basically like i was telling you guys right here this is actually still part of the pro series this is not the tactical this is the pro series uh, like I was telling you guys that you needed three different steps in your bags and how, you know, how far and different uses. This is just a Havoc bag. This has things like two bottles of water. Uh, actually here, some extra Glock magazines in here. They always stay in here. Fully loaded. Don't let people tell you that you can't have your magazines loaded because uh, I don't agree with that, man. I've had magazines loaded for years upon years and you pull them out and they still fire. Um, actually, Dave and Ken both seen this one in action. This is what we used when we went on that search and that search and rescue. Lots of little bag pockets in here. Uh, extra webbing on the front for other stuff right here. Whole bunch of different little things. Um, it's nice. You know, these are deep, deep old pockets right here. I'm so I fit my whole fist in there probably two or three times over. Uh, more little pockets right here. This is a big, huge thing. I'll tell you what, if I could, I'd fit my head in. Oh, wow, look at that. See? Water. I'll tell you what, I haven't even ate one of these yet. I know they taste good, but I haven't ate one of these yet because I've been stocking up on these. And I'm worried that if I like them, I'm going to start eating them all. So, I'm just going to keep those off to the side. But, uh, I can actually put my head in this pocket down here. Look at that. My whole hand, wide open, fist that thing is huge yeah, real nice and then more pockets here buddy I'll tell you look at that yeah deodorant man people laugh all the time this is one of the best things you can keep inside of your stuff man have some deodorant man not only will keep you all right and fresh but man this works for a lot of lubricants and stuff yeah I just I try to change this out um, we took it on us with that thing one of the best lights I've ever seen right here. This thing will turn night into day right there. Two AAA batteries I can see. Ridiculous, man. Beautiful light. But uh, we're not here about accessories. We're just here about bags. So let me continue. Uh, lots of storage. Lots of places. Lights. More lights, huh? You can't have enough lights. Um, this thing is awesome, wonderful. Full pads back here. I'm talking about, and it's wide. Look at that. That's bigger than just as big as my hand wide this straps up to your whole thing and i like these right here and reason i like these i'll show you here in a few minutes about that on another edition i have but again all big buckles i'm a big fan of these buckles right here and these are heavy duty hold on one second big fan of those buckles right there man real heavy duty you know, and it's easy to come apart, real easy to come apart. But they all adjust, fully adjust. This thing right here, really comfortable. Lots of storage in here, lots of equipment in here. This right here, you know, if I need be, I can go out there for a full day with what I have in here. Um, I'll go on details in another video about what's inside of it and what I keep inside of these right here. Uh, this was just, like I said, you know, some of the stuff left over. I had to pull that out. For the search and rescue this normally gets maps extra maps maps guys you got to get maps 
even if you get them, make copies of them, put them inside of a Ziploc baggie. You know, put them up if you don't want to buy them. Buy yourself a good set, go from there. Uh, give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece and show you what the rest of the Havoc bag is. Okay, guys. This part right here is what I secondary take with my thing. This is my ascending and descending bag. Uh, this is blue water. Um, I don't recommend this for everybody, um, but this is something good to have. Nice figure eight. Some nice decanters right there. These are heavy, heavy duty. These things will hold 5,000 plus pounds right there. Beautiful little pieces right here. Beautiful pieces. Expensive though. This is, you know, I don't recommend this for everybody. Um, but if you can get even something close, it's good to have. I take these right here, which I got more of them, and these actually strap onto those little straps that I told you about and holds it and it folds over the back way so it hangs off your back. This is everything in here that I need. Basically, grab this piece right here, tie it to your main point, tree, rock, car, whatever the case be, and you drop the whole bag off the side of the hillside. There is 350 foot of rope in this bag right here, and it actually is pretty lightweight. That rope is very expensive though. I did not pay full price for that. I had a deal because we used to go rock climbing a lot, and the guy gave us an awesome deal on that. So that right there gets set up onto there. It gets hooked up. Here's some more straps on there, to, as you see. And these all get hooked up right to that bag. This bag will hook onto that bag and go through it. And then a lot of straps on here for extra stuff. Guys, make sure if you, whatever you get, man, get a lot of accessory, a lot of real estate. The more real estate you can have on your bags, better off you are, man. See, there's more on this side. Um, beautiful little equipment just the extra plus to have uh there's a rundown of basically the first one which was the good bag other known as get out of dodge the second one was the bob which is the bug out bag third one this one you see right here which is your havoc bag you know and then this is just something extra it was there figured i'd throw it in let you guys see that uh, any questions, man, let me know. More than willing to answer any questions. I will be giving detailed video also as well as what is inside of these things. These bags were just empty. Uh, they were emptied out just for this to see the bags. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, like I said, any questions, just let me know. Stay safe, stay armed, and God bless.